The past couple of days, WWE has been releasing a lot of superstars such as Dolph Ziggler, Shelton Benjamin and Matt Riddle. And in today's video, I'll be predicting their future landing spots. First superstar is Dolph Ziggler. He has been in the company for over decades and after many years later, WWE released him. Now this is really obvious, Ziggler would be a perfect fit for AEW. He could and should be in the right in the title picture. After he was released, Ziggler received praise from the likes of The Rock, Johnson and Ric Flair. He immediately add value to wherever he lands and it would be really extremely exciting to see him with Kenny Omega, Darby Allen and MJF. Ziggler, whose brother Ryan also wrestles in AEW, which draw immediate interest for his first in-ring promo, which has a potential to be a throwback to something out of the frame, Monday Night Wars era. Now let's speak about Matt Riddle. His talent in the ring is undeniable, but he clearly no longer had faith from his bosses in WWE. Even more importantly, he needs to start restoring that trust with wrestling fans. Traveling back and forth from the States to Japan is no easy task, but a move to New Japan Pro Wrestling could help Riddle's entire career. He is the type of wrestler who would thrive in hard hitting matches and there is no shortage of opponents for him in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Will Riddle draw interest from AEW? The answer to that is question will be interesting. He has worked with much of the roster in either NXT or WWE, so it will be telling if his peer vouch for him or if they do not. The last one is Shelton Benjamin. Now this one was a real shocker. People will might think that Shelton Benjamin will might go to AEW, but I think he would go to Impact Wrestling and put him in a world title picture. He would have excellent matches with Alex and Josh Alexandra, especially with the added benefits of the world title on the line. Unfortunately, that opportunity was never in the cards of WWE. AEW would also make sense as a landing spot, as with New Japan, he was part of the NJPW roster from 2012 to 2015 and it also fits in seamlessly on that roster. If he signs with Impact, the door will still be open with the perhaps even better odds than if he commits to AEW. That's a wrap guys, let me know down in the comment section what do you think about WWE releasing these superstars, so make sure you do drop a like. Hit the subscribe button if you're new and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.